welcome to the Logic Minute. In this installment, I'm going to demonstrate how to loop MIDI regions. So, uh, as you might imagine, this will be particularly useful for anyone who's working with uh, loops, such as our Apple loops, or uh, any sort of music where you're going to be looping beats, particularly. So, uh, what I've done is I've grabbed a drum loop from our loop library, the Apple loop library. And I'm going to use this to demonstrate how we can loop these regions because this is uh, probably the best practical application here. So simply all you have to do is select the region that you want to loop. You can go up to the inspector and turn on loop here. And you'll see that it extends our region by looping it all the way to the project end. Let's turn that off. And you'll see that I can also do this by executing a key command. Just simply press the L key while you have any region selected and it will toggle loops on and off. Now we can also adjust the length of a loop by either grabbing at the end here. You see this uh, loop symbol that we get by holding our cursor over the end here. And you can drag it back like this to make it uh, a given length. Or you can simply go right into the middle of it and if you click on uh, a given position, let's say we needed it to be through bar 14 here, just click there and that will chop it right off to that position. So now we can play back and you'll hear how this loops perfectly. And that's how you loop regions in Logic Pro 8. If you want to master Logic Studio fast, drop what you're doing now and head to logicstudiotraining.com.